Super Nanny quits Kate Middleton. This is what a number of British media outlets are putting out that one of their longest serving childcare employees for George, Charlotte, and Louis, the children of the Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Kate Middleton, appears to be packing her bags. With everything I've read about Kate Middleton in this time, I have to say that the figure of Maria Teresa Turian, which is how the nanny is called, Spanish, now we will know her, has always given me the feeling that she did not like this nanny very much, that she was more an imposition of the British royal house so that their children would have an institution in terms of excellent education, a kind of Miss Rotten Mayor who would tell them what to do. Mayor to tell them what's proper, what's not, the moral values a little bit. But they also say, and this is something that has caught my attention, that they also buy clothes for the children. And it is true that these children always appear, although in these images not so much, but they always appear with hyper-classic clothes that seem practically from another century. And I would say super ugly too for the children George, Charlotte, and Louise. Maria Teresa Turion has always been defined as one more in the family and the inseparable shadow of the little royals. She hails from Valencia and is not just another member of the Kensington Palace service, which usually includes a night nanny, housekeeper, three maids, cook, chauffeur, and several security agents. Apart from her parents, she knows these children best and has always been closest to them. She started as a nanny with the heir to the throne, George, with whom she created a precious bond. This has been commented by specialists in English royalty such as Victoria Murphy, and she even slipped into the photo of the royal christening in which the guest list was reduced to 30 people. He chatted relaxedly, laughs included, with Queen Elizabeth herself, just like another Windsor. This caught my attention at the time. And the legend has always said that all this came from William's mother-in-law, Kate's mother, Carol Middleton. She was the one who sifted through resumes to add Maria Teresa Turion, who had already worked with other royal families, to be the nanny of the Prince and Princess of Wales. The connection seemed total at first, but then it is true that she was especially associated with the black hand of Camilla and Charles. With the Princess of Wales convalescing, her name came up again as one of her greatest supporters. But there were already some suspicions about this lady and her role in the whole Kate Middleton's illness or ailment or whatever, while she was surrounded by her family, her family, her parents, her siblings, and even her friends, which you can also see a video on the channel of Kate's four close friends. Suddenly, this lady appeared, Maria Teresa Turion who at first was an intern, but apparently they say that due to lack of rooms in the residences, they put her in a separate house. In the early days, she was even photographed going out for walks and playing with the older child and even with Charlotte. But in recent times, these images have not been repeated, although she has always been present on official or private trips made by the family. She is in her early 40s and has certainly always attracted attention because she came in very young, in her early 30s, replacing William's own nanny. In this case, it seems that due to certain Catholic roots, she got some approval from the royal family to take care of the children. It is said that her job is one of the best paid and that probably when these children get older, she, without having barely a good fortune in the bank, without having dedicated 20 years of her life to these children, they say that her hands are indispensable in all this that has to do with Kate Middleton. Curiously, as I say, the media today tell a little that Maria Teresa says goodbye, says goodbye. It is not known if it is a vacation, if it is a transfer, if it is a change of job, but it seems that in the worst moment of Kate Middleton, the nanny takes a vacation, days off, or an indefinite break. In this video, it seems that in the end, all this siege of the press led them to focus a little bit on who is the traitor. They do indeed meet with a lot of people, but it is true that this woman has also been discreet in that sense. It is only now that she has been positioned in some way as a kind of traitor or black hand or puppet in the hands of the main enemy of Lady Di's two children, who is none other than their stepmother Camilla. This sounds like a fairy tale, but it is really so. The fact that at first it was reported that Kate had met with her hardcore to recover once she was out of the London clinic, all this according to the official version, then this lady suddenly appears. 
This lady is not one of her close friends. This is corroborated, we have seen it. It seems to me that, in that sense, her role as Mary Poppins may be a little overrated. Here you see, for example, the children, yes, they have to be formal, but I don't know, they look very strange. They don't even look like rich kids to me, but with clothes practically from other times that don't look good on them. Well, now it seems that they are going to be left without this lady. Will she have a replacement? Well, we imagine so because children in this sense cannot be left without a governess, as tradition dictates, although tradition is also there to be broken. One of the facts about this lady is that apparently she is a martial arts artist, especially Taekwondo, and that she masters some techniques of anti-terrorism, anti-kidnapping, or driving in extreme conditions. Of course, she speaks English because she is Spanish only by birth and surname and first name, but she has practically been educated in the UK all her life. Well, as I say, I don't know. Everything I have read about the nanny is quite a mystery to me. I don't know, obviously plays a vital role in the family, in any family, but well, now she's gone. This may be that, I don't know, she had a discussion with Kate. Kate does not agree with the way in which her children are being educated, because in the end, it is this woman who is educating them. Is this also a prelude to a future divorce between Kate Middleton and Prince William? And Prince William, because the truth is that this exit of Maria Teresa Turion could touch many sticks. There is one thing in the contract of this lady that was made public and that catches my attention, and that is that if at any time her strength weakens, she has at her disposal a mental health service offered confidentially by the institution in which she graduated, which is operational every day of the year, and that these nannies evidently charge more than 150,000 euros per year, plus other benefits such as travel or accommodation. They say that in her case, the amount could even be doubled, that is, about 50 million pesetas a year. That is, she practically dedicates her whole life to them. Now it seems that they are making a stop along the way, and we are going to see where all this leads, and how I say if it is not a prelude to something to come. We're talking about. There are conspiracy theories that I don't deal with, but for example, there is a question that some people are asking. Is Kate alive? How is Kate and William's relationship? Is there something brewing under the surface? Is there something brewing under the surface? Divorce? Separation? Cessation of cohabitation, whatever you want to call it? Are William's problems affecting all of this? Kate's problems? Is there something else? Well, here is the key, that in the end, the health issues are uncovering the B-side of the English monarchy, which is very traditionalist. Finally, it seems that there may be more scandals or even more attitudes normal that would bring them closer to the people, but probably not in the way they would like. Thanks for being there.